at a concert than one of the massive frog in your throat. So uh, I struggled a little bit on that one, but thank you kindly um, for the kind applause. Um, once again, welcome to First St. Andrews. Um, my name is Jordan Baldwin. Um, I have been a member here at this congregation since um, my parents started coming here when I was a child in the 1990s um, and have been very blessed um, with the spiritual music and stewardship that has been provided by the church over the years, um, and am very excited um, with the new leadership that Eric has started to bring as of this fall. Uh, so that first piece, uh, a bit of an odd choice to start a uh, Christmas Advent concert with a musical selection from Oedipus, uh, but uh, I do have a method to that madness. Um, four years ago, I was part of a chain of a group called the Tem Scholars, and we did an Advent concert here, and we opened up with Gerald Finzi's rendition of that. So I just thought it was fitting and kind of a bit of a full circle um, to be able to perform another setting of that piece. Uh, in the Christmas spirit, I'm continuing on with two totally not related pieces of music. Uh, the first is the Stabat Mater, which is actually the Sorrow of Mary, which is supposed to be performed at Easter, but I just wanted to sing it. Uh, and the second piece is uh, also by Vivaldi. Um, it's from his Nisi Dominus, which is based on Psalm 127. Uh, and uh, it is a beautiful piece of music that I first heard randomly on uh, Narcos, which was a... Uh, show that HBO put on a few years ago, and they played it at a very ominous point of the show, and I was like, I can sing that better. So here is uh, the next two selections by Vivaldi, and I do need to go grab a glass of water to get this frog out of my throat really quickly.
Thank you kindly. Is this on? Oh, I just turned it off. Testing, one, two, three. Looks like it's not on. I have to use my own voice. Testing, one, two, three. There we go. Wonderful. Technology is thing. be our best or worst friend, depending on the day. All right. The uh, next two selections, um, uh, I have the absolute pleasure of singing with my dear friend Hilary Tuffer. Hilary and I met um, at school in 2010, uh, and uh, she's just a fabulous, fabulous piano uh, person. Piano person. Uh, she's a great pianist too, uh, and a wonderful mezzo soprano, and um, a very dear running buddy of mine as well. So we have lots of mutual interests in common, and lo and behold, we also sing well, <coughs> quite well together, I think. Um, so the first of the uh, our two selections is Purtmiro, which is from L'Incruzione di Papea, Coronation of Papea, uh, which was written by Monteverdi, so it's early opera. Um, and unlike most um, uh, tragedies um, that has taken over the opera world, uh, especially in the um, bel canto era, this has a happy ending. So this is the uh, finale of the opera and is the love duet um, between Nero and uh, Popea to uh, finish the show. Uh, the show ends on a happy note. Their love affair is written for uh, the history books as not uh, an ideal marriage, but right now they're happy. <laughs>
question uh, is uh, from uh, Purcell's Kami Sons of Art, which was um, also went by the title Ode to uh, Queen, oh my goodness, Queen Mary's birthday? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's in the program there. Yes, um, so this was written for a royal's birthday. It was part of four songs written for um, her celebration. Uh, and uh, it's called Sound the Trumpet. Now, I have uh, um, my dad, Ken Baldwin, playing trumpet. Um, uh, what I thought, what better way to annoy him than include a song about a trumpet and not include him? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but I can also spin it as this is the announcement that he will be coming to sound the trumpet. And Hillary just sounds too good at the song for me to have a trumpet player cap all over it. <laughs> so I thought I should throw in some Christmassy related materials uh, and that comes uh, in the form of this uh, beautiful little Christmas Advent suite that was arranged by Michael Rondo who is quite a prolific um, teacher and uh, trumpet player himself so thank you internet for connecting that um, we uh, uh, so Ken, Ken will be playing back here um, he has graciously put it um, down a few keys to help it sit in my voice, and I really appreciate that. And so there's four settings of Akatov. Um There's O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Uh, there is uh, the Angel Gabriel from Heaven Came, and finally finishing with Vene Divincia. Um, so a little French carol there. Um, so they're quite short, so I do, don't feel the need to clap between the four. We'll just roll through the four of them.
light, the eternal source of light divine. And I think really in um, uh, today's world, we do need a lot of, of light wherever we can find it because uh, there is a lot of hurt, there is a lot of pain, there is a lot of isolation, uh, and just knowing that light is forever divine and there is an eternal source of it um, is comfort in itself. Uh, I have the pleasure uh, of having Eric on the organ for this one again, and uh, Kenneth is uh, playing the trumpet again. Uh, so thank you very, very, very much for coming. Uh, this is the last piece in the program. Uh, I do know uh, we are in a very, very strange world, so singing to a massive venue like this with so few people in it uh, is, is bizarre, but it is an incredible um, blessing to be able to sing, uh, seeing you guys all spaced out there. Um, and uh, for those of you that weren't able to come in, because I know there was uh, quite a few people that were turned away at the door because of COVID restrictions, um, uh, 
Uh, I do hope you are able to enjoy this uh, once we put the video together and post it on First and Andrew's website page. So if you know anybody who wasn't able to attend the concert today, um, just let them know that there will be a posting of some of the recordings uh, in a few days. Once again, thank you, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy eternal source of light, divine. Indeed.